As parents, you're supposed to protect your kids and provide everything you can. A few months ago, our two-year-old daughter had gotten what we thought was just a run-of-the-mill stomach virus and uh, was vomiting and had diarrhea. And She seemed a little better in the morning, and then all of a sudden she just became rapidly worse. I mean, it was just constant vomiting, constant diarrhea. And so we went to the emergency room, and by the time we got there, she was severely uh, dehydrated. They were really having a hard time putting an IV in her, so they had to stick her like uh over 10 times. She was crying and there were no tears, you know, because she was so dehydrated. They tried in her forehead, um, both of her hands, her feet, her arms, her legs. She got to the point where when she would see someone coming out her with a needle, she would just take her little blanket and cover up her head. It was uh, one of the toughest things I've ever had to watch. There was the vascular specialist team that they were talking about calling in to start an IV. They even had said that they may have to drill a hole into her bone marrow. And one of the nurses just said, you know, let me give it a shot and was able to get an IV started. Rotavirus is so common that almost no one makes it to the age of five without having had this infection. But in the pediatric emergency rooms, we see so many children who end up hospitalized. She started to get better. We could tell the difference right away, but they said that they were going to have to watch her for quite a while. My husband uh, was staying at the hospital with, with our daughter, and then they came in and said that her rotavirus test had come back positive. Rotavirus is the number one cause of diarrhea in infants and children. Our doctor's office didn't have the, the rotavirus vaccine, and he'd said, you know, just run over to the county health department. And I thought, oh, rotavirus, no big deal. My other kids have had that. You need to get your child vaccinated against rotavirus because it is a serious cause of diarrhea, the one that's most likely to have your child end up hospitalized. It was horrible to watch her suffer like that, and then later to find out that I could have prevented it. Well, my wife and I were together taking care of her, and I thought, oh, this is great. So everything's going to be fine. I'd called home to check on our youngest son, who'd also been sick, and our girlfriend that was babysitting said, you know, I think you need to take him in to be looked at. It's highly contagious. I often hear of families who have more than one child with this at the same time. And they transferred him by ambulance to the same children's hospital. And he stayed for three days and she stayed for four days. But I still wasn't able to see him yet. I couldn't uh, leave my daughter to go see my son. The first night that he was in the hospital, we went through 22 diapers in like a 14 hour period. You have trouble keeping up with it. And then just as the child is having diarrhea, they're also having vomiting. And so it was like five minutes in the hall, trade places for a little while, wait till they were asleep, meet in the hall again, trade places. Never crossed my mind that both my kids would be that sick at the same time. There was laundry, probably 25 loads of laundry, you know, all contaminated. People try to prevent rotavirus through good hand washing by cleaning surfaces, and those are important. But the best protection for children is through vaccination. My actions caused my kids to suffer, and that's kind of a hard thing to, to swallow. Check with your provider to see if immunization is right for your family.